I was looking for the mess hall. They said it was down here. Yep. You found it. Not much to look at. Is there any coffee? Mm-hmm. I think in the carafe over there. I, uh, I don't know how hot it is, though. Thanks. <sighs> I heard they were going to turn this whole base into a mall before we got here. I kind of wish they had. I could really go for a smoothie right about now. That would be nice. <laughs> Do you mind if I chill here for a while? No. Uh, I just came down here to read for a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I've been staring at the same page for like 20 minutes. Anything interesting? Mm. Doing research on the history of the Soviet space program. Sounds like a blast. Is that a rocket joke? Um, sure. <laughs> Sorry, what was your name again? I'm. Jane Campbell. Adley. DeLeo. Adley. Oh, a bit of an unusual name, right? <laughs> I am just a plain Jane. Adley Stephen DeLeo. My parents named me after Adley Stevenson, the guy who ran for president three times and um, lost three times. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, yeah. Kids at school especially thought so. We've initiated a containment protocol, but he's going to need a lot more care than I can deliver. Oh, my God. Adelaide Leo, sir. I I'm with the Helena office. Why am I talking to you? Where's Taylor? He's indisposed at the moment, sir, but he's asked me to... How old are you? Are you really asking me? No, where's Taylor? Director Taylor is with the suspect, sir. Is he talking? I don't believe so, but he's doing better, as I understand. Better enough to be moved. No, sir. No, of course you wouldn't. Is there anything else that I can pass on to Director Taylor for you? Yes. Tell him the Canadians are threatening to close their borders. I'm dispatching a team to extract the suspect before that happens. They'll reach you there in six hours. Six hours? That's right. Remind me again who am I talking to? Agent DeLeo, sir. Fine. Next time I call, I want Taylor. Yes, sir. I shouldn't be here. Fundraising, fundraising can be very difficult. Hey, let me just remind everyone that this is my good friend Jim's office, so please treat it with more respect than you would your... Um. Thank you. Okay, so there's, there are three reasons that people contribute to a campaign. Bill Jean. Great job. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Great job. And some people get pushed a little too far with comments from the penis gallery. The what? He doesn't even know what a penis gallery is. Do you know what a penis gallery is? It's a gallery in which inexperienced dicks spew forth dumb opinions. You mean the peanut gallery? Why would a bunch of inexperienced dicks hang out in the peanut gallery? <laughs> so much schooling. You need street smarts. Is that where you learned about the penis gallery? The what, streets? What? Abierto. Serrano. And that's diversity? No, it means open and closed in Spanish. I paid all my. Here we have an exact replica of the planet Earth. In this experiment, our lab assistant will be filling the role of man. And man-made gases will be represented by this delicious carton of Chubco brand menthol cigarettes. Mmm, love that Chubco flavor. Watch as the proud spirit of industrialism marches on. Even after these experiments, we see that the Earth is looking perfectly healthy, with no indication that the man-made gases have affected it at all. Sorry, scientists. 
That's one for planet Earth. Now, here we have an exact replica of the Arctic Ocean. It's cold and full of water. But there's not just water in the Arctic. There are whole land masses made of sea ice. So let's put in some ice flows. Even though this may look pretty uninhabitable, the Arctic is full of wonderful creatures like polar bears. Now, this is a pretty good representation of the Arctic. This hair dryer will represent global warmth. In the winter months, the sun is closest to the Earth at its perihelion. Now, watch as the simulated warmth effect heats the frozen... Oh dear, not again. Thank <laughs> you.